Alright, R-D-N-T. And that is a ticker that stands for Radnet Inc. on NASDAQ. And this one that came to my attention, stageanalysis.net, U.S. stock screeners, glancing over the recent charts. And I kind of like that one, so I say I'm going to do a podcast on it. All right, monthly candle chart, man. Let's get right into it. Scoot over, center that. Don't get influenced. Make sure you could try to imagine wherever the price action may be. Where is, look at that. Where is my monthly defined support? My monthly defined resistance. And hey guys, that was easy. Could have a little bit more fun. Could even see here the base. Check it out. Check out the beauty here, man. So check it out. This is crazy nice base right here. Hindsight 2020. Breakout candle. Using my classic chart trading framework. You would have entered here. You would have put yourself top here. Risk. Reward from here at the top here. Goes up. And then months. These are months, guys. Wow. Emotional landmines. You gotta be tough. One, two, three, four. Pull back, then explode that candle out target reach my uh, one of my principles for my classic chart trading framework is um, there was like too much noise too much stuff to look at too much and I just came up with do a lock and load it might be the not the best optimum but for somebody who's starting who who doesn't have time to focus and check out the volume and check out the pullbacks and check out the news and check out all these things. All I all I wanted was something super simple. So I wanted something that was giving me an entry point, and that was a, my candle close above a breakout line, my sell stop to stop the damage, and then that's a, I would put that under the breakout candle's wick, the bottom of it, and the target, which is the implied measure move of the pattern added on top of the breakout line. So I put in my order with bracket orders, whichever one reaches first got canceled. And that is it. I closed the chart, didn't look at it. And uh, one, two, three, four, six months later, I'd either get triggered out down here or I'd get a, I'd, re, I'd re hit my target. And uh, that's how it is, man. That simple. But I do see the advantages of if you have uh, some um, uh, emotional bandwidth, time bandwidth, and uh, to do it the Stan Weinstein way, to uh, draw your trend lines as they develop, move your sell stops as uh, as uh, the chart tells you. After there's pullback, after the price goes action, goes back up, then you put your sell stop under to make sure you ride the, the wave the longest as possible. That your sell stop is risen and as fast as possible also to make sure that uh, you end up in the green. Look, this system, my classic chart trading framework, less probability of reaching my target or being successful trade than doing the Stanway. Stan's way. Uh, if you follow really their criteria is for triple confirmation, you really, really have a higher chance of success. That is your trade ending in the green. So right there, target be reached. And what happens when targets reach? Well, Press action could come, keep going or sideways move, consolidation like we had here. We're seeing it right here. And here's the outline. 14.40 for a monthly defined candle breakout. And 12.70 for a monthly candle breakdown. And this would be my target. Be right here. Bring us all the way to just above $16. Cool, right? All right, let's zoom in on the weekly. And see what we're dealing with. Remember, if you're above the green Ichimoku cloud, that's support. Ichimoku cloud defines support. You're in an uptrend. You could also see it with 30 new average going upwards. And remove that since we don't, or above, we don't have to consider it. 
Here's my monthly defined breakout line right here. We're getting close to it, guys. Getting really close to it. You can see the nice, these are the lines I drew on the monthly, guys. See how, how it reflects on the weekly. I call them the invisible lines, the invisible resistance, the invisible support. Higher time frames define resistance and support. But on the weekly, what you see, you have noise. See these little candles here that go over? Well, that's probably a wick of one of the candles of the monthly defined uh, on the monthly chart. But the monthly chart, the month decided to close below that level. Hence, the monthly defined resistance. And this could have given you false uh, breakout singles on the weekly, etc. So it, the higher time frames help you avoid whipsaws, help you avoid getting stuck. Uh, I'm in, going to the moon, breakout on the weekly. Well, you didn't check the monthly defined uh, breakout line. Where is it? And then what? First week here, let's say it's the first week of the March. You play it, and then after that, second week, third week, and then bam, the price action decides to go close within the pattern. And then you're stuck there for a little while. And that's when you have your it wears on your patience, and that's when you probably give up when it starts going back upwards, when your emotional uh, resistance is down, and you're just looking for a reason to exit. So think about that. It's going to help you use a higher trend as a emotional technique. All right, guys, check it out. So we had a nice breakout right here. Look at those. Look at those candles. Do -do 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 -do. Even here, started here, twice the average. Breakouts within breakouts. On top of breakouts. Bursts. Ah, yeah. Like the RSI. Burst. Whew. Da -da -da. Ooh. Momentum ends a little bit. Pull back. Check it out though. Is the pullback healthy here? Look at that. Oh, high volume right here. You could have been really, really scared. This candle here. And that's why, let's say you would have went here on the breakout candle, you would have entered here, you would have put your sell stop right here because of these crazy, crazy wicks. You see that? If you put your sell stop, you get greedy. Ah, that's a risk. But check out this candle. Look at the volume. Red candle. Patrick, that's not good. You told us pullbacks on low volume when the price action goes down. Well, let's go to the daily, guys. The daily, what's going to give us we're going to get some granularity on that candle. And it's this candle right here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm just going to put a little line on it. This one here. And that is the week of um, May 7th, 7th to 11th of May. And then I zoom in. Boop, 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 boop. And all right here, 7th. And that candle is the 9th. So the week started here, 10th of May. Week started here. You get some, yes, you get a red candle, then it gapped down, it opened here, and even during the day, it went all the way down here, but then it went up all the way back here, and see, green candle. Green candle, high volume, more positive than it is negative, constructive, not a total meltdown, not a reversal. Gives you hope that this was just a severe correction, pullback, that you might have to consolidate a little bit more. And then you see the volume keeps, uh, even if it keeps going down or sideways, on contracting volume, volume getting less and less and less until it decides to break out again. So now we could go back on the weekly, knowing that we have an explanation for that red candle right here. Use the smaller candles to zoom in, get the details. Use a higher trend to zoom out and confirm the trend, the higher prevailing trend. And then you're set, guys. And then you, you trade on that middle, uh, that middle uh, 
time frame right in between you're golden you're using all the tools you have on the same chart you'll be more powerful you know you'll have you'll know where to get the clues to better understand what's happening the underlining technical aspects how it's constructing on that on the pullbacks and after you've seen that candles that started to end like this you could have maybe said okay i might enter here maybe that's my pullback then a green candle, red, green, red, green. And then after that, you could have said, okay, I'm entering on this candle here. And that's where we are today, guys. Check it out. So classic stand, crazy breakout here on these candles. Price action goes up, pulls back towards the 30 moving average or a little under, contracting volume. Explodes out. Look at that volume here. Contracting volume. We have the explanation for this red candle. Pull back. And uh, it looks like the pullback's already happened. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have an opportunity probably to test the following breakout on the 1440 level. So what I'm going to do is there's two weeks left before the end of June. Hopefully we get a monthly candle close above 1440. And if we get that monthly candle close above 1440, I will declare this an official stage two continuation breakout for RDNT with the harmony of a monthly candle confirmed breakout. And guys, we're golden. That's all we want, all right? Harmony between the time frames, constructive build, breakout over breakout, skewing three week average going up. And remember, before it starts going down, it has to go to neutral, then down. If you buy and the 30 moving average is already going down, you're hoping for it to go up. Eesh. You're going an uphill battle. If it's neutral, then you should still wait to get that extra angle. But for the price to go up, you need higher highs. And with this super duper clean, constructive uh, stage two ad advancement for the NT. Lots of stuff, guys, but very good. Keep that chart open. Ciao. <laughs>